and thank you for tuning into yet another CQ server video. In this video, we're going to be setting up ESX on a 5M server hosted by CQ servers. So, let's go ahead and start. Head into your game panel, click on databases, new database. You can name database whatever you'd like, I'll name it 5M. And then click on create database. Now, in the description, you can find four links, all of them GitHub. So, open every single one of them. Click on code, download zip. Code, download zip. Code, download zip. And code, download zip. Now, I've created a folder. It's called 5M. So I'm just going to unarchive all of them into that folder. So you can unarchive them just by simply dragging them out of the winner. So that's like so. Onto your new folder or your desktop, completely up to you. And do that for all of our files. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so now what we've unarchived all of our files, we have to do some remake, some renaming. So go to right click, rename, and remove the five M part. So just MySQL that's async that's master is fine. Now async master, you guessed it, remove the master. Same thing with cron. And from e ES extended, just remove, just remove this part right here. Okay, so now once you've done that, head onto the game panel, file manager, head onto resources. Right, so once all the files have uploaded onto the resource folder, open ES extended, go into config, go into default. Now we can start configuring basic details about our game server from here. So let's go ahead and open config.account right here so here you can configure how much money you want your player to start out with so for example zero 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 I don't really mind we can go back now from this config you can set and go around details like your language for example any features that you'd like to enable or disable however again I'm satisfied with the default that's fine with me now Let's go to the more um, important, I'd say, config. So head back onto container from right here. So container and open server.cfg. Now this is where we're going to be using the database we created previously. So go to database here. We can see this. I'm going to open it on a new tab so I can see it right here. So see this actually. There we go. Wonderful. Okay. So file manager server config so now we're gonna go ahead and connect our 5m server with our database that we have created right here now click on this so you can see all of the details for your database now go ahead and type my sql connection string quote and now my sql slash slash now username is this right here so copy that and paste it now your password is this so copy that and paste it good to go at your endpoint. So your endpoint is this node right here. Copy and paste that in as well. Now scroll down until you see system admin. Add some admins. There we go. So now copy and paste the commands in the description. Just copy and then paste. That simple. Alrighty. So now that's done. Scroll up right here so as you can see we have vmanians vmanian installed so that's fine now go ahead and type in insert async sorry so let's go ahead and type insert my sql dash async insert async Ensure 
cron. And lastly, ensure AS extended. Now, please follow the order that I have followed since it is important. Now, click on save content. And now you're right to launch your service. If you click on start, your service should start up. Wonderful. All right, I'll see you in the 5M server. Right, so once all the files have uploaded onto the resource folder, open ES Extended, go into config, go to default. Now we can start configuring basic details about our game server from here. So let's go ahead and open config.account right here. So here you can configure how much money you want your players to start out with. So for example, zero, 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 I don't really mind, we can go back. Now, from this config, you can set a good amount of details like your language, for example, and any features that you'd like to enable or disable. However, again, I'm satisfied with the defaults as well. Me. Now, let's go to the more um, important. Okay, great. So let's get into the most important part of this configuration. So click on server.cfg. Wonderful. Now, the command you're looking for is set. My SQL connection string quotes so that's server equals okay. So now if you click, if you right click, open link in your tab, you go right here. So the server, if you click here, is the endpoint. Okay, so copy the endpoint and paste it in, remove the port. Alright, and database equals, now the database is the name of your database. So in this example, it's S281.5. So let's go ahead and do that, 281.5M. Wonderful. So now, user ID is your user ID. So click that, you just copy the username, good to go. Wonderful. And now, the password copy it and paste it in here okay so now that's our database connected now now if we scroll down we will see this so let's go ahead and add our new resources so they start automatically the server please follow my order since it is important so ensure mysql async ensure async ensure cron ensure es extended so now our research will start with our server wonderful now if we scroll down a little bit more until we see add system admin there we go add system admins now copy and paste the commands in the description let's copy paste wonderful click on save content and that's it so now we're done configuring esx so go to console if your server's running stop it and just start it up i'll see you in game Wonderful, so as we can clearly see, ASX is working because it's asking us to create a new identity. Go ahead and do that, so just name it whatever, and then whatever, next. And click on submit. Oh, okay, so, again, name it whatever. Click on submit, and you're good to go. Now, as you can see, you can customize your character. Whatever you'd like, not an issue with that. And that is it. ESX is fully configured. You can customize your character as much as you'd like. You're good to go. Thank you once again for watching a C2 service video. Anything you need, we're always available. Thank you once again.